Hi everyone, welcome to Air Product Builder. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to build a simple LLM application using the new Cloud 3 AI models and in just 10 minutes. The Cloud 3 AI models are especially known for their advanced reasoning and ability to understand emotions. So today we'll be building a personal emotional assistant that analyzes your mood based on your thoughts and provides comprehensive recommendations on how you can uplift your mood. So we'll be using Streamlit for the web interface. So if you're a beginner or looking to deepen your knowledge, this tutorial is for you. And as you see, this is how the application looks like. So your emotional assistant. So I basically entered how I felt during the day based on my thoughts or feelings for the day. The AI model came up with a very comprehensive mood analysis, and then it categorizes my mood, you know, whether I'm happy, sad, neutral, or anxious based on mood categorization and on the analysis, the AI model again comes up with a very comprehensive recommendations on how I can uplift my mood. Um, so that's a very simple use case we'll be building today using Cloud 3 AI models. We'll also go through their capabilities in just a minute. So today's focus is less on the use cases and more focus on how you can build LLM based application using Cloud 3 AI models. So let's understand their capabilities right now. In, so Cloud is a family of foundation AI models that can be used in variety of applications. Uh, they're basically good at brainstorming ideas, analyzing images, and processing long documents. They're good at very good at advanced reasoning. Cloud can perform complex cognitive tasks that go beyond simple patterns. They're good at vision analysis, code generation, and multilingual processing. So if you're building or if you're trying to integrate in translations into your application, so Cloud could be a very good choice. Haiko is based basically um, light and fast. So if you're building some lightweight application, then you could go with Haiko. Sonnet is best for combination of performance and speed for efficiency. So today I'll be using Sonnet. So Opus is the powerful AI model which is existing today. It outperforms GPT-4 on many benchmarks like cognitive reasoning, coding, and other use cases. Yeah, and here are reasons why you should be using Claude. And here is a detail how you should be using API. So in order to build with Cloud API, you have to click on Get API Access. And then you will be here on the Developer Console. If you don't have an account, please create an account. I've already created an account. That's the reason I'm landing here. And then click on Get API Key. And there's a basic plan for people who want to evaluate Cloud's capability before commercial use. And you're free to create your own API key. Just click on Create Key. And this is how the free access looks like. So the free access includes API access to evaluate Cloud's capabilities. So the limit is 2.5 million from tokens and two concurrent connections. That's all you could do with the free, free version. So if you would like to use it for commercial purpose, then there is a pricing plan as well included. So now that you got your API key, let's start diving into the code. So this is the file. I've just created something called moodanalyzer.py. You could use any IDA tool over here. I'm using VS Code. You could also use Jupyter Notebook. So all you have to do is first install two libraries, that is Streamlit, which we are using for our web interface, and Anthropic, which we'll be using today to access Cloud AI model. So first, let's say pip install Streamlit. So already installed, that's why it says requirement already satisfied. And next is pip install Anthropic. And yes, the two necessary libraries already imported. So we'll start by defining the main function. This is the main entry point of the Streamlit application where all the app logic is defined. So in Streamlit, if you want to define the title, which is your emotional assistant, you have to use st.title and that's what we'll be using here, st.title, your emotional assistant. The next step is to set up the API key. Now there are two ways you can set up the API key, right? One thing you can ask user to input their own API key, which is on the web interface. Here I am asking the user to enter their API key, or you can set up it as your secret key so that you would provide your API key. You're free to choose whatever you want. So st.text input creates a text input field in the app where users can enter their anthropic API key. The next step is that we'll check if the API key has been provided by the user. So that's the validation. 
message if the user has entered the api key the code inside the block will execute that's it that's what we are talking here uh, then we'll start getting the user input as you see here i provided a text input area for the user where they can enter their thoughts or feelings for the day so st.text area creates a larger text input area in the app where users can enter their thoughts or feelings for the day and then we have to also check if the user has clicked the button st dot button creates a button labeled analyze mode if the user clicks this button the code inside this block will execute and what what is the code basically this is the api endpoint we are sending to anthropic so client dot message dot create sends a request to anthropic api to analyze the mode or sentiment of the provided text so we have to specify certain arguments over here the model we are using cloud tree sonnet you could use any model i wanted to test the new capabilities of new models that's the reason i'm using cloud tree so i want to minimize the number of tokens over here because i'm using the free version and the temperature it's basically setting the randomness of how the ai model responds and the message so this is the basically the prompt message uh, to the ai model what we are saying is based on the following text so the text will input what the user would be providing can you analyze the overall mood or sentiment expressed by the person and that's it that's a very simple prompt so this line of code basically joins the text of all blocks into a single string responding to the mode analysis as you all see over here this is what it looks like the response that's it what is first part based on users thoughts or feelings for the day our ai model will come up with a very comprehensive analysis that's the first part and the second part is based on that analysis the ai model sh should come up with the recommendations how can they uplift their mood and that's what we'll be doing in the second part so for the second part we have to start defining the mood categories i have defined the mood categories as happy sad angry anxious or neutral and then we have to start categorizing the mood based on keywords so far so we are creating a list over here to find a match in the mood analysis text right so once a match is found it breaks out of the loop and assigns, assigns the mood category um, i'm creating a simple if statement here over here this is a display message on streamlit based on the mood category that's it and based on the mood category the next step is providing the recommendations so here we are making the api call for the second time you know using the same endpoint client dot message dot create with the mod model cloud three and i would keep the maximum number of tokens and temperature as the same and the system message in the, and the prompt here is different right so what we are saying the a model is based on the mood analysis and the mood category can you provide some recommendations or suggestions to help the person feel better the response is displayed over here using st dot right as you see here the recommendations i i said that i want the recommendations in a list format um so we have to close the if statement what we defined over here with an else statement saying that providing a warning message if the user hasn't entered the api key a warning message is displayed prompting them to you know enter the api key the last part is that if the script is executed directly the main function is called to start the stream data and that's basically it if i have to sum up we are using the anthropic api endpoint twice here first part is for the mood analysis part the request is analyzing the user's input to determine the overall mood or sentiment this is where the application asks the api to analyze the sentiment based on the input text given by the user and the second part is the recommendation request and this request is obtained from uh, getting the recommendations or suggestions that could make the user feel better based on the mood analysis and the determined mood category now that you're done writing the code let's run the app and see just say streamlit run the app name you have defined analyzer.py so i'll start entering the api key click on enter and that validation is done so once you have entered the api key you have to enter your thoughts or feelings for the day so i'll just be saying that today has been really tough i feel nothing is going right i go overcome feeling over my task and responsibility so be as descriptive as you can throughout the day things only seem to get worse all right so you could describe your entire day and then we click on analyze mood see and our ai model came up with the first thing which is mood analysis based on the text provided the overall mood or sentiment expressed by the per per person seemed to be one of sadness overwhelm and lack of motivation and these are several indicators that point to this overall it says that the language used such as rough overwhelm disagreement really down or struggling 
uh, indicates that the mode category is sad and based on the mood category and the mood analysis our AI model again sends us recommendation based on the mood analysis and category of sad here are some recommendation and suggestion that may help you feel better that's it um, that's how this application works and now the cool part is you could also deploy your application on streamlet so that you can share it with others so all you have to do is head over to streamlet if you don't have an account with streamlit create an account with streamlit and once you create an account with streamlit um, you would see something called new app and you have to paste your github url over here here's my github url for the code all i'm doing is enter my url so th there's also an option that you can customize your domain name and once you customize your domain name just click on deploy so our application is deployed on streamlit once it's deployed on Streamlit, you can share it with the public by clicking on share, make this app public and co copy link and share the link with anyone you wish to. So this is a very simple LLM application using new Cloud 3 AI model. Do let me know if you would like to see more such use cases and also understand Cloud's capabilities. By understanding Cloud 3 capabilities, you'll also understand what kind of use cases you can build yourself. And if you need any help, please do reach out on LinkedIn. I'm happy to help. In the coming weeks, I'll be coming up with more such exciting tutorials. If you like this tutorial, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you.